To access the source code of a website in Chrome, you need to perform a right-click action if you're using the desktop version. But what about the mobile application? This process is a bit different, but today I can show you exactly how that's done. And I think you will be surprised at just how easy it can be. You probably already know but there is not any view source option when you long press on a website in Chrome on Android. But we can still pull this up by tapping into the address bar for the application, and then we're going to bring the cursor to the start of our URL up here. So edit that URL, bring that cursor all the way to the start, and then we're gonna type out view dash source, and then a colon. So you'll see the address bar looks something like view dash source colon https colon forward slash forward slash and then the rest of that URL. But the trick here is that you do not want to tap the enter button when you're done typing in view dash source colon. Instead, look for the autocomplete option and then we're going to tap on the second one in this list. See, if you tapped the enter button on the keyboard instead, then Chrome for Android will just perform a web search for whatever is in the address bar. When we do it this way, we're actually selecting the source code version of the application from that autocomplete drop down option. You'll be able to see the source code appear after it has been loaded. And then you can go through here and browse the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and any other code that's embedded in this web page. It's easy to assume there aren't going to be many people who need to learn how this is done on Android. Accessing the source code of a website is not something that most of you will ever need to do. But for those of us who like to get a peek at the code base, or maybe you just need to reference the code that makes up a particular website. I appreciate that Google has at least included this feature in the Android version of Chrome. Instead of removing it like they have done with other useful features from the desktop version, of the web browser. Now, if you ran into any issues following this guide, or maybe you just have a question about Android in general, then feel free to use the comment section down below. I would just like to ask that everyone give this video a like and subscribe to the channel as well for more Android tips like this.